Let me ask you a simple question. When was the last time when something got your attention out of a window? Maybe a bird, plants, animals or someone dropping a sandwich. How often do we forget to carefully observe things instead of just mindlessly watching them? Hi, I'm Roshni Shah, a photographer and traveller based in Mumbai, India. Like many of us out, I was too bounded by the strings of a society to follow its norm. For me, a successful life was to complete my graduation, do a two years of MBA in finance, settle for a well-paid job, like it was all decided for me. But the pursuit of success is never ending. It's an ongoing thing. For me, the success is defined when you are happy and satisfied in what you do. Maybe a 10,000 steps a day or getting that perfect click of that moment. But there was a missing piece in me, which can be only be filled if I would break out from my monotonous life. A desire to do something different. And after seven years, I'm here in front of you all. After filling the void, when photography found me. Photography has given meaning to my life. Getting back to the question I asked earlier. Observance is a quality everyone must possess. It's a combination of a small efforts we take it on a daily basis that helps us to achieve it. Observance has played a very vital role in shaping me as an individual. It has changed my mindset and perspective at how I look at things. A very famous quote by a renowned photographer, Mr. Andre, the photographer's art is a continuous discovery which requires time and patience. Patience, a skill that takes an eternity to master it, but gives in with time. Just like any other beginner, I too lack patience at my initial stage. It is rightly said that the photographer wins half the battle if they patiently wait for the right time to get the click. Three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. These times won't even make any difference. But these are the limits I have pushed myself after years and years of practices. Surprising, right? I too was. When I discovered that the time workflow works very differently for a photographer. Starting with portraits, at the start of my journey, I ultimately discovered that my interest lies when I was walking down at the streets, where I don't have to restrict myself for a particular subject and allowing myself to go with the flow, to explore the unexplored, to notice the unnoticed. It's all about the way you look at things, your perspective. As a traveler, I have attended various festivals where a common man takes a break from their office life and get immersed in the celebration. You will end up getting thousands of photographers at the same place to get the same clicks. Just imagine the situation. A hundreds of photos, but a hundreds of different perspectives. Every individual has a mindset and a vision to look at things. It doesn't matter if it's not matching the same wavelength of someone else's thought process. Some may see it as a portrait, some may see it as a story, some may see it as a very great composition. But at the end, it's rightly said that a teacher knows their students better. Here, a photographer is a teacher who knows their photo better than anyone else. Meeting people from different walks of my life has an amazing experience. There was a time when a man was rowing a boat for two and a half hours just talking about the beauty of the lake. There was a 90-year-old man who was singing at the streets of Varanasi. A holy celebration where I saw a happy faces around of the locals. Also a Thayyam festival, some different rituals in Kerala. A locals at Pushkar Camel Fair Festival. All of them have left a deep but breathtaking impact on my mind. A photograph holds and gives an identity. What may exist at one location need not be that another. For example, a yellow taxi that exists in Kolkata, West Bengal, 
serve as the identity. Similarly, the Shikara rite indicates that the picture was taken in Srinagar, Kashmir. I have always set myself free in photography and that's the reason every photograph I have ever taken has a story in it. Maybe the culture, lifestyle, everything can be delivered in a single photograph. Capturing the vibe of Kumbhela Haridwar or Ganga Arti at Varanasi Ghat or capturing the last sunset of 2019 at Taj Mahal or covering the beautiful snow shot of Gulmar Kashmir in minus 5 degrees Celsius or just capturing the beautiful young ladies of Kaj Gujarat. Each one of them speaks for itself. And to narrate the wide range of emotions I had experienced in person while capturing them. Photography has allowed me to capture the emotions of the people, to observe their gestures and help me to live the moment with them. The way you look at things compared to what others see makes you unique. The observance makes you unique. It doesn't matter what lens it's capturing. It's about the meaning you find in the subject. It is if it's a simply landscape of, or a beauty of mother nature or a detailed shot of a flower or just a macro lives of a human element. It is about the mindset you set while capturing it. Leaving everything and walking out as a photographer was a very risky decision. To walk in the storm alone was not something I have wished for. The road of this journey has always had its hurdles. The passion and fascination to capture the beauty of life helped me reach here after the storm. Photography showed me a very important, truly meaning to my life. I was never sure about making decisions. But one thing I knew for sure, there are thousands of moments around you. So pick up your best one and frame it. Thank you.